Hi, welcome. Uh, in this video, I'm going to go through problem 17. So in problem 17, it says for x greater than zero, the power series that, and they've showed us the general term here, uh, converges to, converges to which of the following? Okay, so uh, basically they're claiming that this is a convergent series and we need to figure out which of these answers it converges to. Well, first, Looking at this general term, it looks very familiar. And in light of the fact that sine and cosine are both answers, uh, we want to recall the general term for uh, one of these guys. And so if you recall it for sine, uh, it's sufficient. And for sine x, the general term of the Maclaurin series, uh, remember, uh, was equal to negative one to the n, um, and then it's going to be uh, x to the 2n plus 1 power divided by 2n plus 1 factorial. Now, if this is a n, the, the nth term of the sine uh, series, then this makes for a very easy comparison. First of all, I would only memorize the uh, nth term of the sine series and perhaps uh, the nth term of the e to the x series. And e to the x was simple. Um, it's x to the n over n factorial, right? Uh, unless your teacher uh, requires that you memorize other ones. Um, because here, like, first of all, from knowing the sine series, right, you could take the derivative of it and get to the cosine series, uh, which is the nth term in the cosine series is negative one, um, x to the two n over uh, two n factorial. And it's clear that this is just this derivative of this term here. So, and it's not negative one, it's negative one to the n. So it's clear that uh, you know they're related as derivatives as they should be, and therefore just memorize sine, and then you could memorize cosine in turn by remembering <laughs> their derivatives, and then you could uh, do their quotient for tangent and all this good stuff. So you really don't need to memorize uh, many of them. Now I'm explaining all of this because if you knew either of these, um, or if you memorized either of these, the question is done long ago, right? It's pretty clear that. Uh, the terms in this series look like one of these two. Well, it's not sine because th the exponents here are x to the 2n and not x to the 2n plus 1. Uh, it's not cosine because the denominator uh, is not 2n factorial. It's 2n plus 1 factorial. So which one of the two is it? Uh, well, I will imagine that it will be easier to correct for this missing plus 1 and the way we can correct for that is by multiplying this term here by 1 over x. If we multiply that by 1 over x, then it's clear that we will get um, a n over x in the sine terms, uh, which is to say that uh, we have found the Maclaurin series for sine x over x. Uh, it should be clear what I'm saying at this point, but yeah, it's clear that if you multiply the uh, nth term of the sine series by 1 over x, then you'll get negative 1 x to the 2n plus 1 divided by x to the 1 times 1 over 2n plus 1 factorial. And it's clear that this nth term is the nth term of sine x over x, um, which is the nth term that you see right there, because these cancel and you have x to the 2n and everything else is there. Cool. I hope this helped. Take care.